And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dexpot. Today we are covering the Call of Duty Season 4 1.22 update here in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. We're going to be going over everything that we're going to be seeing in the season as well as the patch notes, what's been changed, what you guys need to know. I'm going to get all of you guys up to speed with that right here in this video. So if you guys are here, I appreciate you being here. We're going to dive into all the content that you are here and you want to know right here, right now. For those of you that are subscribed to my channel, thank you guys so much for returning to check out another Call of Duty video from yours truly. For those of you that are new to my channel, which you may have come across, you know, from browsing, check out this topic, looking for the Modern Warfare updates right now. Basically, if you're part of this 94% that is not subscribed to my channel, do me a huge favor and please click the subscribe button and turn post notifications so you get notified of all of my videos that I upload to YouTube and make sure you check out my live Twitch content down in the description as well. So the first thing we're going to jump into today is what we're going to be seeing in the Battle Pass here in Call of Duty Modern Warfare Season 4. And since I just mentioned my Twitch stream, I'm going to hook some of you guys up with a Battle Pass who like this video and follow me over on Twitch. Like I said, the link is in the description. Once you follow me on Twitch, click followed. I'll be able to see who liked the video, who followed my Twitch channel, and I will be able to hit you guys up, send you a message, and send you guys over a code or PayPal to get the Season 4 Battle Pass here in Call of Duty Modern. Modern Warfare. First and foremost, one of the most important things that we're all excited for is we're going to be seeing the return of Captain Price as an operator. We're going to be able to, to use him in-game, and I think that's going to be absolutely awesome. He's one of the faces of the Modern Warfare series. He is the freaking dude. You're going to be able to unlock him at Tier 0. Right off the rip, you're going to be able to get a skin, a version of Captain Price. Then you'll be able to get another skin at level 100. It's going to be the Night Vision Goggles version of Captain Price. So it's going to be NVG skin at level 100. The next coolest thing that we're gonna see in the battle pass here on Call of Duty Modern Warfare Season 4 is gonna be the Fennec SMG that's gonna be dropping at level 15. I believe a lot of people have compared that to being the vector that we saw in Call of Duty Ghosts. At level 31, you're gonna be able to unlock the CR-56 AMAX AR, which has been said to be the Galil that we've seen in past Call of Duty games as well. So I'm definitely excited to be able to put both of those weapons to use. You know how DLC weapons come a lot of times. A lot of times they might be overpowered, so it's going to be interesting to see what they feel like when they drop. Definitely going to be unlocking them and putting them to use as quickly as possible. We're also going to be getting some weapon blueprints as usual. We're going to get the Sunset Hue LMG blueprint that's going to unlock at tier 18. And we're going to get the Blue J Assault Rifle blueprint that is going to be a fast rate assault rifle that's going to unlock at tier 51. And you're going to get a Sniper blueprint, the Brookside, at tier 81 in the Battle Pass. We're going to be seeing several maps coming to Call of Duty Modern Warfare throughout Season 4. We're going to be getting a new gunfight map called Trench. We're going to be getting a new ground war map called Barricat Promenade. And we're going to be getting the classic Modern Warfare map, Scrapyard. It's going to be coming back to multiplayer. And that is probably one that I am the most excited for. I had a blast playing Scrapyard in Modern Warfare 2. And I'm really excited to see it coming to Call of Duty Modern Warfare as well. Aside from those things, we're going to see some different limited time modes coming to Call of Duty Warzone. We're going to have a Juggernaut Royale. And we're going to have a Realism uh, coming throughout the season. We're going to see a classic Call of Duty mode, one in the chamber, come after the launch of Season 4 as well. And we're also going to see Team Defender and All or Nothing, which are going to be new modes that we're going to see throughout the season, additionally to the previously mentioned mode. So we're going to have a variety of limited time modes and whatnot to play. Play throughout the season we love to see that keeps things interesting allows us to mix it up and change it up just a little bit and i think that'll be good for everyone that is playing call of duty modern warfare right now so now that we've covered some of the key points of content that we're going to be seeing throughout season four of call of duty modern warfare we're going to jump into the patch notes i'm going to link them down in the description of this video if you guys want to follow along i'm pretty much just going to run through them and let you guys know that what's going to be getting changed and adjusted and what we're going to be seeing throughout this season straight from the patch notes provided from infinity ward straight from the developer so here we go if you guys have enjoyed this video this far be sure to leave a like. It would be greatly appreciated. If you've made it this far, you got to smack the sub button. Just drop kick it one time for me. Show your boy some love. We're trying to hit 100K. We got goals to hit, guys. Let's go over the patch notes right now. Infinity Ward added a fix for some players not receiving their Season 3 emblem. They added a fix to help reduce players who are encountering error codes 13 through 71. They've added a fix for a bug when the ghost perk was not hiding players from the heartbeat sensor when viewing on the kill cam. They fixed an issue where some players were unable to activate a nuke after getting the appropriate number of kills. 
They fixed a bug where the fourth operator mission for Talon complete two Warzone plunder matches was not tracking as intended. They fixed an issue where some players could find long wait times when attempting to load into ground war matches. They fixed a bug where natural hard points were appearing yellow instead of gray. They fixed various exploit fixes across multiple maps. They fixed the officer challenge, get 20 kills while crouched. It was not tracking properly for some players. They fixed a bug where white health regen was triggering and downing other players even if quick fix wasn't equipped. They fixed an exploit where players could sometimes call in duplicate UAVs. They added new weapon perks for the specialist bonus. They fixed a bug where players were unable to perform executions on some elevated surfaces. They added fixes to help prevent against black graphical corruption. They added a fix for, for the cause grip was not appearing properly on the base M4. They improved stability fixes on PC. And they added fixes to help prevent issues with voice chat. For weapons, they've lowered the ammo count for reloading on uh, the bolt feed LMG. They fixed the bug with the HDR and the sleight of hand where reloading would not give ammo to the player. In Warzone, they have a loot update. New weapons and updated blueprints. Be on the lookout for the Finnick, the CR-56 Amox, the Renetti, and more. They fixed the bug with a recon contract could spawn inside of an ammo supply cache, making it unusable. After completing the contraband mission and calling in the exact helicopter, Players could shoot the helicopter down without receiving hit markers, and the helicopter would remain on screen indefinitely. They fixed the bug where players were able to drop their weapon in the gulag. They fixed an exploit where players were able to duplicate self-revive kits. That's pretty much going to wrap it up for the patch notes, rounding it out here at the launch of Call of Duty Season 4. Uh, I'm super excited to see everything they're bringing, you know, the changes, the adjustments, the new content, all that good stuff. It's going to be great, and I can't wait to, to be able to live stream it and bring more of it right to you guys with videos and streams and all that good stuff. So if you guys made it this far, thank you guys so much again for checking out the video. I really do appreciate it. Hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Here's your day. And I'll see you guys next time. If I want it, then I get it. Work hard, don't regret it. Yeah, I said it. Huh. Head down, I'm focused. You know this. They know this. Show this. I'm blowing. Keep going. Showing. I'm growing. Flowing and coasting. I'm moaning. Work hard, play hard. Let the party start. Can't lose when I'm giving out bars.